By rewriting the formula for the multiplication rule, you can write a formula for finding conditional probability. So conditional probability um, of B happening, given A already happened, is going to be the fraction where you put the probability of both of them happening on top and probability of A happening in the bottom. Okay, so all right, they gave us this. I think we're going to try to use this formula to answer, find some probabilities. Okay, or right, let's see. Um, so I think what's important is rewriting these words into probability symbols. When they said probability that an airplane flight departs on time, probability of on time is equal to 0 0.89. That's pretty good, right? So like there's like a close to 90% chance this flight will leave on time. The other 11%, it will not leave on time. But that's close, that's very high, I would say. All right, next one. Probability that a flight arrives on time. Oh, I shouldn't use on time like this. I should make it a little bit wordier, sorry, because I thought it was on time or delayed. But the first probability they gave us is departs on time. Okay, the second probability they gave us is arrives on time. Is it higher? I think it should be pretty similar, right? 0 0.89, okay. What are they asking? The last sentence right here. What they want is the probability that a flight departs and arrive on time, okay? So they're asking for both of them happening at the same time. So I'm going to copy this, duplicate it. And probability that it arrives on time. That will be like the perfect situation, right? Like everything is on time. And that is a little bit lower, huh? 0.84. So what do they want? They gave us individual probabilities and they gave us the probability of them happening both, okay? So they're asking that, that what is the probability that a flight departed on time? Okay, so they're asking for probability that flight departed on time, okay? Departs on time. Look at this word here, given given, draw that vertical bar, it's a conditional probability now, given that it arrives on time, so arrives on time, okay, and that is equal to, oh, that's what they want us to find, let's go find that for them, um, gotta use that formula they gave us, okay, the formula is, uh, if you want to find this out, then you put the probability of both happening, probability of both at the same time divided by probability of the second part arrives on time. Okay, they gave us all the numbers. We just got to plug them in. So what's the probability of both happening? Okay, that is 0.84. So what you will have to do is divide, uh, put 0.84 on top of the fraction because that is the probability of both of these events happening. And in the bottom of the fraction, we have to put the probability of uh, arriving on time. Okay, let me go find that. It's that one. Um, oh, 0.89. 0 0.89. All we have to do is divide now. So I'll get a little mini calculator and do 0.84 divided by 0.89. And that came out to be 0 0.94. So given that this plane arrived on time, we have a 94% chance this plane will depart on time. So if, it's, if, the, if the plane doesn't arrive on time, I guess that will be lower, right? So that's how you can find that number, 0.944, okay?